Hello to you guys and welcome to my channel. This is the playback of my video when I edited existing helmet from the game. So I will narrate what I did here. So in native folder, I just took the directory, copied it, and in tpac tool, gonna paste this and open the asset package of native folder. So this is a category, for example, this is all the mesh ID from the game. You can see this from the items XML or SP items XML from the sandbox. So in here, I'm gonna make this rig and export as a DAE or Colada. I already imported this one, so I'm just gonna, sh I'm just showing you how it's done. Also the other helmet I will combine these two later in the video I'm gonna open the blender here I import it as a DAE file so these two helmet I will import them simultaneously so that I can compare their location. You can see here this is facing the wrong direction. But this is the rough view of what will they look later. I'm just gonna rotate them 180 degree. The other one too, but later in this video, I will remove the bone or the skeleton of the one item so that they won't conflict. Note that the mesh is pay. Note that the skeleton is a parent of the mesh, so the child entity is the mesh. I'm gonna pass forward from here on. Since I deleted the skeleton, this returns to its original position or rotation. Now I'm gonna edit here. I will remove or I will hide this part so that this won't be deleted when I delete the vertices. Maybe we can go faster. There's much easier way than this but this is the only way I know so please bear with me I am using the H button after I select and I, am, I also use Control L so that I can select the ones connected to the one I selected for example I select one edge pressing Control L will select the one next to it or connected to it once I have completed hiding the one I want to remove I will remove this now using delete button there's something floating in here I will delete this too in wireframe so I'll press Alt H. That's the hot key for show. Now the other helmet. I'm gonna delete this one from above in edit mode. And since this will clip, I will hide this for now. Because I'm gonna delete the ones from above. Maybe I will fast forward here too. Now see that this is clipping here. So I will, I will still have to remove them. Now 
now this one is clipping too so by using frame or wireframe mode I can select the two edge here I'm gonna save just in case something bad happen Now I will join these two using Control J. Now they are a one entity, and since only one has a bone, they are already parent, or the bone is already a parent entity. So this is already rig. I didn't change anything. So let's test it. You see here that the cloth part is the only one moving when the shoulder moves, and the head part only moves now let's rename this so that it won't conflict with the other original helmet let's also add no fuse here because this will conflict with the unum skeleton already existed in the editor I'm gonna export this as FBX and there's a settings here, a real important one in armature and check the add leaf bones. This will glitch your bones if you didn't. Now that this is saved, you can create a new module here but I already created one. Let's import it inside asset. You can create new folder here if you want. So let's import the FPX file I made. So let's go here and this is the FPX file. In case that the convert unit is not in meter, change it. Now see the see here this looks ugly. But it won't be obvious from afar. But the detail here is very awesome. So let's. In other atmosphere. Now let's see it inside the entity or model viewer. Let's load this guy first and add the helmet. The one that we named. I can't use the scroll mouse here because it is broken. But I will show you this later on the game. So let's go fast. See here that I am testing if it is rigged correctly. And if. There's some anomaly during animation, but luckily it works fine. So now, now let's go to game. Anyway, we cannot see it in the game unless we make an item that use that use it as a mesh. I'm just I just copied this and put this here. Now let's do the campaign. There's some little clipping here, but I think this is native. Let's try some armor so it's not so obvious. Are there armors too? Now 
Now let's check the original one. So it's the same. It's the same from the original one. So it's fine. You can see here the mesh, but you already see it recently. So let's check if during gameplay. So it works fine. So this concludes this playback. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't.